Alright, so uh, today, okay, because initially we were thinking to do either Jian Bo or the Bedok Tree Kui, but uh, we came across this store. This is a store by this old uncle, 81 years old or something. So you want to help him out. Steven is here. Hi! Oh. It's the one who actually helped me like, hey, show, show your shirt. He's actually a Gojek driver and like uh, a competitive leader as well. So he very kind, he actually went down because the uncle got no contact number. So he actually went down and lies with the uncle. Because initially when we, when he came, when he go this morning, don't have, no, no more idea. Because I think a lot of people are trying to help him as well. What happened is he actually placed the order for me. And then he, uh, and then we came back again on the same day at about like, uh, now it's about 3 p.m. To, to get all that food. So, uh, Big thank you to Steven. <laughs> and then, yeah, so now we're gonna go there and get the food and get the tree quit and we see how it goes. <laughs> the, the videos I know is gonna be like eight. And I feel very dependable with Steven because he knows like where is the food, where is the store and everything. So yeah, today is uh, today he really helped me a lot. He carry you. I like this hawker center. It's very bright and there's no annoying fans that, you know, <laughs> attack my hair. This is actually the uncle who is in charge of this store. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How's this shit? Oh. Wait, so these are the three He handmade it uh, every single day. So how he... Okay, we don't have a footage of him actually making everything. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, do come here. Okay, so uncle is here for five years already. Okay. You know the store is good, huh? like what Mike Chen always say. Uh, when they only sell one item. Okay, the whole store is only selling three quid. The sign. name of this place, the sign, is just three quid. Okay, I'll explain what's three quid when we get back. But today he's closed already, so I'm probably not going to be eating here. We'll bring everything home. We're going to eat. Okay, so you guys ask for it. You guys keep asking for three quid. So I'm going to do it. Okay, I'll see you guys when I get home. Very graceful Alright, so we, 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 we're back home now. Alright, so we're back home now. For all the three quays here, look at that. Okay. For those that don't know what is three quays, yeah. okay, these things are rice cakes. I would say rice cakes. It's very, very. Uh, the consistency is not really like a jelly, but it's also not as tough as the Korean rice cakes. Okay, so it's in between, but uh, yeah, we weighed out just now. One of these things is 40 grams, excluding excluding the radish. Okay, so usually this is like the typical. A lot of Singaporeans we like to eat this during breakfast, so like the ultimate breakfast. For me personally, I don't eat this. I don't fancy this. Okay, I'm very honest. I don't like this. But but okay, you guys want you guys want to see this? So this is why we got like 100, which is about five kilos, or maybe a little bit more. I'll try to finish. If I cannot, then I'll fail. I don't know. Murphy will come and help me or something. But we'll see if I can finish five kilos of three quid. Uh, okay, so we set out. I'll see you guys in a bit. Do you want to build a snowman? Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna anoint it with the radish. Oh, it's so oily. Okay, I'm just gonna put all this by the side. Uh, because I don't want to pile everything on top. 
food we add on as we go. Today, I uh, had to go faster, a little bit quicker because the lights <laughs> might run out of battery halfway. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna go. Uh, 100 tree kue, about 5 kilos of food. Let's see what I can do. Okay, Mervyn, give me a 3, 2, 1. Okay, three quick rice cakes. Um, if I were to directly translate, because three quick I think is a Hokkien word, so if I were to directly translate, it literally means water cakes. Okay, so how we usually eat this is we'll add on pickled radish, uh, preserved radish, whatever you want to call it. So they'll stir fry, every store will have their own recipe to cook up all this radish, and then uh, you'll top it on top because the rice cakes on its own. It's got not much uh, taste or flavor. So you add on uh, all this radish and add a bit of chili and then yeah it's like the very very it's like a very very popular breakfast item. Very very uh, yeah the, the ultimate breakfast for Singaporeans. Okay, so coming into this challenge I was uh, a little bit afraid. I'm not sure if I can finish all of it because it's five kilos and uh, it's been a while since I did five kilos of solid food. So uh, this one Actually, it turns out to be pretty easy. I think it's the, because of the fact that the, the cakes, the rice cakes are pretty straightforward. That is, uh, it's just a whole bunch of carbs, like rice in there. There is not much uh, processed food, uh, not much meat in there. So it was very easy, even after the challenge. I don't feel horrible. I felt pretty okay, actually. Okay, so a quick review. Most tree kue taste pretty much the same. The, the rice cake tastes pretty much the same. The only difference is the, uh, what do you call it? The pickled radish that is different. How they stir fry it, how, what, what they add into it is very, very different. So uh, my favorite oh is my still God. the one. The oil, oh! Three minutes. It's all freaking jacuzzi, oh! Okay, the Budo ones, it's very hard to top. So far, there is not one store that I came across that can actually win them with regards to how they cook. It's super fragrant. Let me add some chili. The taste is overwhelmingly high, I cannot. No, 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 no. Ooh! Wait. Okay, okay, okay. Even, even. Wait, wait, here, I dip it on my own. I don't think it's that spicy. Okay, so for uncle's one, his radish is a little bit more on the savory side. It's, uh, there's not much sweetness to it. Like for Bedou and Jian Bo one, they have uh, a bit of a sweet, sweeter note to it. But this one is it's not sweet at all. It's, it's more towards the uh, salty oh, side. I feel like my artery is like choking out. So fast. And one thing I really want to mention is that his chili, his chili is very, very nice. Super smoky, super nice. It goes very well with that rice cake. I really don't know why you guys want to watch Trikui this much, but this really for you guys. Okay, so the whole point of uh, visiting this store is really just to support Uncle. He is like 81 years old and he's still so positive, still so healthy. He told me he's been operating at four different locations before actually moving to Tama Jurong five years ago. Lucky I got my Pepsi bowl. If you guys want to support Uncle as well, I'll put his address down in the description. Do take note of his operating hours. I think it's from 6 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. So yeah, uh, go ahead. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'll talk to you guys at the end.
Okay, we're done with the trigger challenge. Finally got this one off the, the list of the things that I don't want to do. But you guys want to watch it, so that's why I do it. For my overseas viewers, um, this is... Uh, you guys already heard my voiceover. Okay, so this is... Uh, you guys probably already have a rough idea what this is. Um, yeah. Rice cakes, Singapore style. Okay, I cannot give you guys a very good review on if this store is the best or anything. Uh, personal, personally, my favorite is the one at Bedok, Bedok Jikui. Slightly bigger ones. That one is the best. I find that they are radish. It's not like that. It's more like a puree, more than mint stuff like that. Okay, it's a lot more fragrant. Uh, this one is not bad as well. But uh, for this one, if you guys want to support Anko, you guys can, you guys stay in the West. You guys can pop by. Uh, I think it's good enough to try, but it's definitely not like the best lah. Okay, because. Honestly, I think the best is still the middle one. No one can top that one. But uh, yeah, so that's it. That's it for this video. Oh, finally off my bucket list. The next video is going to be ramen. Sukumen, the next video. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I am oh, feeling very oily right now. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.